I need to already know how to dance? Can I be done after round one? What's the difference between the show team and the premiere team? What should I wear for round one? What should I wear for round two? How old do I need to be to try out? When will we find out the results? How do I find a partner for round two? Who will be watching me? What do you call Max? Hi, it's Anne, and I make videos for PBD. And here with Katie. Hi, Katie. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We're gonna talk about tryouts for a minute. It's gonna be a short video, but you'll find out everything you need to know. Okay, Katie, first question. This is so much fun. <laughs> what is the deal with trials this year? What's happening? Why are there so many rounds and what do they mean? Tell us about it. Okay, so this year we've decided that we'd like to give the students a bigger opportunity to display what they've learned and their amazing ballroom dance skills. So we've split the rounds into three parts for the junior age group and for the youth age group. The preteens only get two, lucky you. Uh, so round one is basically a big group class, very similar to what we've done with workshops in the past. You'll learn two dances and then just get to dance them a whole bunch over and over again while we watch you. Um, you don't need any previous dance experience or even a partner to come to this round. You can just literally show up and be ready to dance. Round two is for syllabus. So you get to dance a samba and a quick step with a partner of your choice and you get to come, we'll play the music and you just dance for a few minutes and when you're done dancing, you're all done with that round. It's very similar to syllabus competitions if you've done ballroom before. Uh, round three for the junior and youth is a choreography round. So the premier coaches will teach the students some new choreography and then we'll see how you do picking up the choreography and so it's Quite a fun process, actually, to try the new choreography. So who is going to be watching the kids dance? Okay, so the people watching you try out are the people that teach the classes. So it will be the coaches from all the different level teams, as well as our uh, academy teachers, so Adam and Monique. So they'll all be faces you recognize if you've ever been in the studio. There won't be any new faces to scare you. Uh, it'll just be our coaches and instructors that you see every day. There's no need to stress or freak out even though you probably will, I would freak out. Uh, <laughs> what do callbacks mean? Okay, so um, a callback is an opportunity for a coach or a director to look at the dancer more. So we will have you come for just a very basic, like the first round is very entry level, and then the coaches really want to see what your skill level is and what more you can do. So we have another round where we ask you to come back and we do more in-depth uh, looking at your technique, that's round two, and your ability to perform and pick up choreography, that's round three. So callback is really just an opportunity to see you dance more. And will there be callbacks after each round? There will be callbacks after the first round and the second round for junior and youth. There will only be callbacks after the first round for the preteens. Okay, perfect. So as far as round two goes though, even how much dance do you need to know to, 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 to how much dance do you expect kids to know to come and put a number on their back and dance for you at round two okay so round two if you know any samba or any quick step you should be prepared to come dance on round two perfect okay okay katie so for the new dancer how old do you have to be for each team and what's the difference between show and premiere because they sound pretty much like the same thing. They do, okay. <laughs> so preteen ages are divided by grade levels. So preteen is grades four through six, and junior is grades seven through nine, and youth is grades 10 through 12. So it's all based off of the year you are in school. And the difference between premiere and show 
really is skill level and also time commitment. So our show teams are more entry level teams where they really are just focusing on teaching you the basics of formation ballroom dancing. And our premiere teams are a higher, more competitive level. They're at the studio a whole lot more. So it's kind of a bigger commitment to be on a premiere team. Perfect, that's, that's great. Okay, Katie, what happens if one of the kids can't make it to one of the rounds? Okay, so your first option is to come to the round of another age group. So for example, if I can't make the junior round one, you're welcome to come to the preteen or youth mm -hmm. round just so we can see you dance and know that you're interested in auditioning. If you can't make round two, then we ask that you submit a video to me of you dancing with a partner of your choice, a samba and a quick step. And then when it comes to being that night, we will pull up the video and score you just as if you had actually danced right in front of us. The third round for junior and youth, there isn't really a way to make that up just because of the nature of the mm -hmm. audition. So if you are called back to round three and you can't make it, then we will bring up your video from round two and watch that again when we're doing the deliberations for round three. So okay. you'll still be considered even if you couldn't make that third callback, but it greatly benefits you to try to do whatever you can to make that third callback. Got it, perfect. Okay, one more question. How should the kids find a partner? Okay, so round one, you don't need a partner. You just have to show up, we'll switch partners a lot, you'll get lots of opportunities to dance with everyone. Round two, you should probably find someone to dance with if you can. So there's lots of boys in the classes or girls maybe that are in your syllabus class or on your team. You're welcome to ask them to dance with you. They don't have to be in your same age group. Mm -hmm. They could be, for example, if you're a junior, you could ask a youth aged person to dance with you. Mm -hmm. If you can't find anyone to dance with, we will try to have boys or girls there that you can ask that night and we'll help you pair up and find a partner. The third round, you won't need a partner. We'll switch a lot. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, so uh, I know that it that you said not to stress out, but they're all going to stress out. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and the more the kids prepare, then the less stressed out they'll be. So we have mm -hmm. two. Tell us about the practice sessions that we have set aside at the studio. Okay. So Monday, the week of auditions, I believe it's June 18th, mm -hmm. we're going to have the studio open from 4 to 5.30 where you can just come practice whatever you want to practice. We will play samba music and quick step music if you want to specifically practice for the syllabus round. Um, but really it's just an open time for you to come just get the jitters out and really feel like you've prepared. We'll do that also again on Friday the 22nd from 4 to 5.30 as well. Um, which is after all of the first rounds mm -hmm. and so you can really feel like you're prepared for that second round. That sounds good. Is that a good place to find a partner? Actually, that's probably a great place um, because it's before the second round so there'll be a lot of people there practicing. Mm -hmm. You just look around and say, hey, that person looks like they know what they're doing and, and yeah. ask them to dance. Someone already has a partner, can you still dance with them? Yes. So if I'm a boy and there's five girls that want to dance with me, that is possible. So when we do the audition process, we will bring in four or five couples at a time for that syllabus round, but we will only be looking at the people individually. Even though they're dancing with a partner, we're watching their individual dancing and scoring them, not as a partnership, but mm -hmm. as an individual. Right, so usually when you're looking at one at a time. Right. Seems like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. You have anything to say to brand new ballroom dancers? Don't be afraid. We will love you, whatever your skill level. If you've never danced a day in your life, we want you at PBD. Um, we will teach you everything that you need to know. So just come on in and enjoy the process.
that's all. Aren't we amazing? This is what... <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. You guys will do great. Yep. We will. Hi, MJ. Do you have some advice for anyone that's coming into audition? Just relax and have fun. That's the best thing to do. I agree with what MJ said. Relax and have fun. What if you're brand new and you've never danced ever? Don't worry about it. We are here for you. Come, come on in. We need you. So, uh, what did you ask? <laughs> 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 Redo! Okay. And go.